GT racing chair. Today I want to talk to you about this chair because a lot of content creators, or should I say people that do reviews, don't be saying the facts or the truth about the chair because they might have gotten another chair from another company and now they want to make it seem like that chair is the most awesome chair in the world. Now, these chairs may not be the most comfortable for you. I don't know because you may have sofas you're used to or whatever, but it's exactly what it is. A chair to sit on for a few minutes, hour or two while you game or make content. And mostly it looks good, right? For an affordable price. The links will be in the description to this video. And this is not a sponsored video. They didn't pay me. They didn't give me the chair for free. I've been doing updates on the chair. And the last update was a while ago. And I had talked about how I already had it for 10 months prior to the video that I've made before. Now, some more time has passed. It's like about two years or over. And the chair is exactly the same way from when I got it. It may have like a little bit like black right here, a little darker spot for my black T-shirts and like brand new shirts. And I wipe it down with alcohol and get it right out when it's the day to clean the chair. Nothing has ever happened to this chair just right here on the armrest. Like there's a line that comes like with adhesive or glued in there. And me leaning over to grab the second keyboard before I put the switch under my desk because I do PC stream. I used to lean over, pop, and I kept bending this that way. And it split open a little bit and I could feel it just a tiny bit. But once I push it back, it's there. That was absolutely my fault. Like right now, I just pushed it back and it's good. These are replaceable for like eight bucks or something like that and you can get more comfortable ones but they not bad they they little cushiony so the chair was when people said it was not comfortable and all that when i first sat in it it was awesome and here's why it was my first gaming chair like as far as like fully this is a chair that the gamers use so i didn't really know the difference but as time went on it probably started feeling not uncomfortable it's just I was sitting in it for hours, you know, like long hours. So anything is going to hurt your little buns, right? So I went and I put this little cushion that's like a hospital cushion with a hole in the middle for your hemorrhoids, <laughs> right? Oh, so you don't get them, I guess. And I put it there and it's been there ever since. And that helped out 100%. But other than that, it wasn't really needed. But it's been there, and it put like a little dent in it, I guess, because that cushion went down, so it has the mark of this. But other than that, nothing is wrong with the chair, bro. Every so often when I clean it and I go through like a whole uh, upgrade of my YouTube recording studio, I tighten the screws up or see if any of them got loose with the Allen key that they provide. But, so... I added my little guy in the back, so I turned this on when it has a brand new battery. I think it died out. Just to give the audience something else to see when I turn around, it's just me. But other than that, the straps are good. Everything is good. Nothing has never happened to the chair, bro. Nothing at all. Excuse the cabling or whatever mess you may see because I'm always working in this studio here. So we working on a lot of new things. I'm always upgrading or downgrading whatever I'm showing on my channels. So the chair still looks awesome, bro. So if you planned on getting the chair, don't listen to anybody that it breaks, that the material's crappy. That's all a lie. They treating the chair like animals respectfully this is not to jump on to be throwing around uh, uh, uh to be going up back and forth or rocking on it all day it's exactly for what it is you sit on it you try to get as comfortable as you can you look good and you get to work 
two years or a little more, I've had this chair, and there's nothing wrong with it. And I wanted to try for myself when I bought it. And the price was pretty uh, high for the average person, respectfully. When I first got it, I got it during uh, Culver, so everything was super pricey. But yeah, it's an awesome chair. I don't have no complaints. So if you're going to ask me, should you get the GT Racing chair? I recommend it. I stamp it. Tech for Rec on the lockout. You already know. Thank you. I'm a million percent grateful. Links in the description. If I was you and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a chair and you want a chair that looks good for your studio setup, they have it in all colors, I'll go with this. Everybody that talked about it in a bad sense must have got paid to talk about it in a bad sense. And that happens in this business. Nothing has ripped on it. I wipe it down with alcohol, all types of chemicals. And it is spick and span. Nothing, nothing has faded. No colors have faded. Nothing. These guys that show their chair all beat up must have had it for 30 years in the sun. Because that's a lie. I promise you, I'll never lie to you. There's no need. I bought that with my monies. Tech for Rec, where honesty is valued.